Welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Today, I'm going for E85. This is a great gas station, arcade gas station. Yeah, stop by and give E85 a try. Hey, how you doing? I'm here to fill up with E85. I have. Actually, I started last year. Oh, right on. Yeah. So, I know the risks involved. <laughs> What's the price today? Um, 145. 145. Okay. So, yeah, the whole thing. And then all these guys, that should last me, a full tank will last me about a week. So this gives me about two weeks. Must be about like a four and a half liter. Yeah. But as soon as the good weather comes, you start thinking, man, I need some power. I can finally use the power. Uh, all right. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. Have a good night. Okay, see ya. Yes, yes. <sighs> Okay, I've filled up with E85. Full tank. E85, plus I got my E85 for the next couple weeks here. And my open flash tablet. So the first thing to do is to let the car let the car run and clear out the old gas until it starts starts running E85. So you can just idle the car and it could take maybe five, ten minutes and you can watch the open flash tablet. And when you see the short term fuel trims start to radically change and the long term fuel trim start to radically change, that is the time for you to flash over to the E85 tune. If you do it now, there'll still be gas and it will be take longer for the car to learn E85 if it starts off with gas still in the system. Advanced multiplier, as you can see, I was running 94 octane Chevron and it still was pulling timing. So I wasn't getting full boost with my electrical supercharger, my Phantom electrical supercharger. Uh, let's see, the short term fuel trim is slightly changing now, 156. 1.56%, well before it was zero. This means that the E85 is starting to come in. So I think it might be time to flash this car. Okay, we want to write E85, this one here. We've chosen, we've chosen our E85 uh, tune and now it's writing, so it's basically erasing the tune that I have right now and writing the E85 tune. Key off and confirm. Right. Key on and confirm. Writing complete. Okay, as you can see, short term fuel trim, long term fuel trim is way off, minus 21. Uh, so that means it's learning right now. That will reduce as it learns the throttle. Advanced multiplier back up to one, which is where you want to always see that. This whole process does take a while. It's not the easiest, but at least it's available. And if you have E85 in your location, I highly recommend that you give it a try. Of course, with E85, uh, it's, uh, especially in the States, it can be cheaper, maybe 20% cheaper, but you lose 20 to 30% of your fuel mileage because the car requires more E85 to produce the same amount 14. of power. Okay, so I think it's okay for me to start uh, taking off. Okay, I've been driving with the E85 in my FRS now for a few days and I gotta say it really made a difference. I can feel a lot more power, uh, especially at the low revs. When you first do throttle tip in is when you really feel a surge of torque which I didn't have before because with the Canadian gas which is rated at 94 octane but most people say it's really under 90 uh, it uh, you get uh, the computer takes away some of the timing you don't get full power but with E85 you get full power plus you get a nice surge on top and my electric supercharger which I have installed on this car works really good with E85 uh, 85 does have a downside downside in Canada it's very expensive. 
I know in the States, it's actually cheaper than regular gas. And so even with the lower mileage you get with E85, it uh, pays off. But here in Canada, it's expensive. It's the same price as premium. And of course you get one third, uh, up to one third less gas mileage with E85. So you're actually losing money, but so it's only really for performance. But the performance is there, and so I keep wanting to use it. Uh, here in Vancouver, we only have one station that has E85, and uh, it's over in West Vancouver, so I can't get it all the time. But right now, I have E85, and I'm loving it. Oh, I got to give a plug. The place to get the E85 is Arcade Gas Station. Uh, my friend Amir owns the station, runs the station. He's the guy to see. He's helping the enthusiast, helping all the turbo guys to get E85. Check it out.